Hey guys, welcome back to the pink envelope. I have a brand new to the channel home decor subscription box. This is how it's spelled. I believe it's pronounced Elheim. I'm almost positive. I was playing with different phonetics and I started getting down this like long path of where did the name come from? Is it Farsi? Like it's actually really, really cool. Okay guys, this is a giveaway. Elheim has said they want to give away a box to you. So here's how you enter. You must subscribe to my channel. You must like this video and you must tell us what you love about this box. It's as simple as that. And I will choose one of you to win an Elheim box. I am super excited to open this guy. I do want to tell you this is a non-spoiler box. We're going to unbox this summer. I think it maybe is her June box so that you guys can get a feel for what the box looks like without spoiling her upcoming fall box. But she has two box op options. There's a monthly subscription box and there is a quarterly subscription box. We are opening the quarterly box, which is called the Q box. It's $95. You get six to eight items with $180 of retail value. Uh, yes, and she said this is the summer box. The autumn box starts shipping September 1st. So be looking, watch this if you like this and you're gonna wanna bounce over and grab that. The monthly box is the middle box, also known as the Elheim box, is $89.50. You get four to six items with $130 in retail value. So you can choose between the two or you can do them both, depends on how wild you are. Of course, I have a coupon code here pink envelope gets you 15% off your first subscription. On top is, oh, the QR code. So she does not do the booklet print off. You can scan the QR code to see everything. Love that. I already can see the colors on the edge and I am very excited about this. Oh my gosh. Can y'all see? The textures are gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. I'm just gonna, that's at the bottom too, so I'm just gonna slide that over. Oh my gosh, what did I grab first? We'll grab these. There is three nesting baskets. So, those, are, those look like their items. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Okay, so three nesting baskets. Very cute, I love baskets. I use baskets for everything, whether it's just keeping my kids organized, keeping myself organized. I don't really care because they're a pretty way to organize things. So I'm always in for a great basket. I want to pull these out because they're so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I love these with all of my heart. If you have been following my patio makeover, these match perfectly for my new patio space. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of these woven coasters. Now, I do have to say, <laughs> I love these from aesthetic perspective. Like these look so cute. However, practically speaking, do they really stop water or do the purpose of a coaster? Like this one is not even level if you're looking at it. Like I couldn't put a wine glass on that because it is too unlevel. I could put it like a tea glass on that. I don't really care. I'm putting them on the patio either way because they're so stinking cute. But I always do wonder with these coasters that are just so chic, the level of practicality behind them. As far as the items go, all of these items are sourced from fair trade American makers and or small American businesses. Everything selected for the box is meant to be sustainable and multifunctional. At times the box will include decorative pieces, Sometimes they have a little bit more of a theme or a holiday or a season to the overall look of the box. So I guess that kind of explains a little bit more the background on these. I love these so much. What is this guy? It looks like it's a soap dish, I think. Yeah, it's very, very cute. Like so great. So it looks like it's made of teakwood on the outside, but a seashell on the inside. I love, love the uniqueness. You can tell this is handmade because it doesn't, it's not perfect. It has like perfect imperfections. <laughs> That's kind of tricky to say. Love, love, love this guy. And once again, I am working on the outdoor space and I just, I'm about midway through the completion of my outdoor garden kitchen. 
I'm gonna reveal it on Instagram here soon and I might do a vlog. And this would be so perfect in that little outdoor garden kitchen. I love it. Sea sponge. I almost threw this away. I squeezed it and it just felt like a bunch of tissue paper. I'm so glad I didn't throw it away. So on the monthly booklet, it says natural sea wool sponge. We use our natural sponge for washing dishes due to its antibacterial properties, which makes them ideal for household cleaning tasks. They are 100% natural and they contain no plastics or toxins. I have used these to like to bathe with. I've never washed a dish with this. And once again, I'm going back to that outdoor kitchen because that's what I'm working on. This would be so cute with its natural properties and everything we have out there is very nature based to have out there to clean all my little garden stuff with. Oh my gosh, what is this little bitty guy? Oh my gosh, how cute. And you'll see the top. Very, very pretty. Is it just a little storage, a little trinket kit? The trumpet flower wood dream box. Trumpet flower on a small maple box with mother pearl. Or mother of pearl. Oh, that's a good question. I always say mother pearl. This is mother of pearl. What do you, what do you say? Ooh. <laughs> my husband just said, oh, it's definitely mother of pearl. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I can blame that one on my Texas accent. So it is handmade and all items are made in their small family run shop in Colorado. How cool. I like these little guys for traveling. So like if you see here, I have this stud, I have this stud, I have all these studs. If I throw those in my regular jewelry, everything gets tangled. So I happen to throw those in little containers like this and then I can throw it in my suitcase and it keeps them safe. That's the first thing that popped into my mind when I saw this guy. What's this? Oh my gosh, this is one thing that you guys ask me pretty often is what subscription boxes come with things like beads because beads are so trendy right now. Well, here you go. Elheim box has beads in it. Completely natural, all like, even it looks to me is to be unstained wood. Very, very cool. I'm loving the color scheme here. Remember I was like, disclaimer, this is a summer box. All of this stuff is going to flow beautifully into my fall set right now, which is very, very exciting because I was a little bit nervous about unboxing this late. She sent it to me earlier. It's just been a little crazy over here. Look at these. Can you guys see the handle on these? Very, very unique and like literally you can see that they were carved, the wood's been carved. There are so many natural imperfections of where the knife was whittling at these. Very, very cool. I don't have a lot of dinner parties. COVID's ruined a lot of things. So when I do have the opportunity to have people over and hang out, I want everything to be unique and super fun and super chic. And this falls so perfectly into that category. These are very, very cool. We're still going, folks. This is so pretty. The color is one of my favorite colors. Obviously, look at the entire wall behind me. But just the textures and the depth and like the, the very natural blown look. You can see the bubbles inside. So cool and it looks so good with these colors. The blue bubble bud vase. Fair trade out of India, artisans in India blow these glasses with tiny bubble inclusions and granulated glass frit, giving each a unique effervescent pattern in textured interior. Very cool. Contains recycled glass. I love it. I love it. Oh, I wonder if this is another one, like a bigger, a bigger version of the same. Sure looks like it. Can y'all see? That is so great. This is like the ultimate of shelf decor or even a tiered tray decor. Very, very cool. And now we can finally pull out 
the blanket. I wish you guys could feel this. This is a very well-made, very nice, quality, heavy blanket. But not like, I don't know, it's heavy because it's big, not because the material is thick. Let me get it open for you guys. You can see there, it's a thin, a thin woven. I love the color. I'm addicted to tassels right now. Anybody else like all about the tassel game? Anything with any form of a tassel, I am about that life. The aqua blue striped throw blanket with white braided tassel is 50 inches by 60 inches, 100% cotton and made in India. Can be used for the beach and picnics, tailgate parties, or a throw. You can wash it in the washing machine on the gentle cycle. Yes. Okay, wow you guys. Like this box had so much more in it than I anticipated. So we got, I mean, this is technically three items. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 items technically. But if we don't count the sets, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items. So we still way more than exceeded the $95 that I would have paid for this box. This box was gifted to me by Elheim. Uh, I call this a huge thumbs up on value, a huge thumbs up on quality and uniqueness. This is actually cute. And y'all, you guys know, I open a lot of home decor boxes. I can say that we have not overlapped this type of combo. In fact, I'm shocked at how few have actually had more of these natural components. I give this box a huge thumbs up. If you're liking what you see here, since this is a pass box, I can't guarantee you can go order this box, but go take a peek. They also have an online shop, so you may be able to individually pick these items up on the online shop. You can go to the URL below in the description to grab and check them out. Elheim box, very well done. Thank you so much for sharing this box with me. I hope you guys have subscribed to the channel, turned on the notifications. Give this video a thumbs up if you have not already and leave your comment. What do you love about Elheim Box? And let me know if you would like to enter to win one of these. I hope that you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys later. Bye y'all.